Let's dive into the who, what, when, where, how, and why of the fried egg jellyfish. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. So what are these creatures? Well, they fall under the class Scyphozoa under the phylum Cnidaria. So they are jellyfish, true jellyfish, in fact. Who are they? Well, there are two different species that the term fried egg jellyfish applies to. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their scientific name, so here is the first one, aka the much larger one that grows up to two feet in diameter, and here is the second, much smaller one, the one that we are going to mainly be talking about in this video. When were these species discovered? The larger one was discovered in 1835, and the smaller one was discovered in 1778. The fried egg jelly is one strange jellyfish. I wonder how it got its name. I mean, just look at it. Well, it looks like breakfast, doesn't it? Only don't consume this egg. Their yellow bell looks identical to an egg yolk, which is how this jelly got its name. This jelly is an open water animal that drifts and eats, and that's about it. They eat zooplankton and other jellyfish that they come across, and this jellyfish is pretty much harmless to humans, and their sting is known to be very mild and not very painful at all. In fact, some smaller fish species will use the tentacles of the animal as a refuge. Like many jellies, their populations are very hard to determine because jellyfish are very much capable of producing large groups of themselves very quickly. In 1974, near the coast of Israel, a swarm of these strange jellies was seen that went on for a couple of kilometers. A smack of jellyfish lasting a couple kilometers. Can you imagine how scary that must be? These jellies live a short life only around six months or from the season summer to the winter. Where are they? Well, the smaller species lives in the Mediterranean and Adriatic seas, but they have been found in the Atlantic Ocean as well. Like coral, these jellies actually have been known to have zooxanthellae and have a symbiotic relationship with them, allowing protection for the algae, but at the same time, getting energy for the jellyfish. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks once again for watching. Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already.